are the helpful hints for step two? The first one is to regularly revise the new letter sounds as well as the letter sounds taught in step one. Whether an adult is asking a child to say the sounds like E, O, N, or W, or the old ones T, P, K, or the children are working in pairs testing each other, or the teacher is holding up flashcards for the whole class to call out the sounds. So A, O, J, E, and so on or even the teacher pointing to the letters on the board and asking the whole class to respond with the appropriate letter sounds, such as Z, A, W, O, I, N, E, U, U, V, or J. And that also applies to regularly asking the children to write the letter sounds from dictation, especially the new ones in step two, Encourage a good pencil grip, correct formation and neat handwriting. So you might call out E and the children have to then write E, perhaps O, or V. And then you can write them on the board and they can see if they've done it correctly. The lines guide the children and are a great help for developing neat handwriting. It is also so important that the children can recognise the letter sounds easily and fluently, as well as write them confidently and neatly. They do well with short daily sessions and thoroughly enjoy mastering these skills. For hint two, continue encouraging word blending all the time. As with step one, when a new letter sound has been introduced, then provide words for blending that use the new letter sounds and the previous ones, of course. And this is when the word blending boxes are so useful. Just imagine you've taught the A sound and you want some A words. We go to the group four of letter sounds and they're the yellow ones. And so you then tip them out and you have got then plenty of A words for the children to blend. They can test each other and read to each other and so on. Then if you want the J, well, they're the blue words. So immediately you've got them at your fingertips, which is very, very useful. Guidance for making these word blending boxes can be found in the resources section on the home page. It is equally important to continue practicing auditory segmenting, which is identifying the sounds in words, such as road, r, o, d, deep, d, e, p, lie, or I, torn, t, or n, about ten of those. The skill of writing develops by doing several words like this, as well as then encouraging the children to write a few words from dictation. Perhaps you might want to have them write the word bang. They've got to then listen, bang. B, a, all the mm, two letters. Leave a space. Moon. They've got to think m, u, n, m, u, and n. For hint three, take care when expecting the children to read the phrases. Either wait until all the letter sounds in step two have been taught, or if phrases are used earlier, check that all the letter sounds have been taught in the particular phrases you give to the children. If you give the phrase a good job to the children, you have to make sure that the double O with the U and U sounds has been taught. It is a mistake that is easy to fall into and great care should be taken to avoid it as much as possible. The phrases can be downloaded at the end of this section and they're either in colour or black and white. Now for hint four. Faint letters have been used on some words. The children do not need to say the sounds linked to these letters. It keeps it simple for the children and enables more words to be read. So here we've got H or S, 
and then that faint letter. And usually the children cope with these words anyhow because the word has been heard before they get to the end of the word. So by the time they've gone her horse, they can hear horse. Jumble, jumble, sneeze, sneeze, snore, snore. And for the last hint, remember that some words when blended may not give a pure pronunciation. For example, here we've got afraid, afraid. Well, we don't usually say afraid, we usually go afraid. Or here, travel, we usually go travel. Doctor, doctor, wooden, wooden. It is not usually a problem for reading, but it does make it more difficult for spelling. For example, with the word afraid, the children would identify the sounds. So afraid, a, f, r, a, d. But how do they write an a? Uh? This is the awkward bit that has to be learnt. Usually, when the children have blended and read the word afraid a few times, afraid, they then tend to remember that it starts with the a. Ah. So in conclusion, the aim is for each child to recognise 12 new letter sounds, like these ones, v, o, o, e, and the previous ones that were introduced in step one, to write letters from the new letter sounds, from dictation, with correct formation and a good pencil grip. So the teacher might call out O and the child has to write O and maybe V, V, W. Blend words that use the new and previous letter sounds, so these type of words, P, aid, paid, brain, toad, if stuck, R, oast, roast, and the previous ones, Write words from dictation that use the new and previous letter sounds. So, might call out boat. B, O, two letters. B, O, T. Or zoo. Z, U, Z, U. Read and write phrases. And lastly, to give help to any child who is slow to learn these skills. As usual, this guidance is provided in the section Help with Reading and Writing Problems on the homepage. And that concludes the teaching in Step 2. Thank you.